the next car uh, coming up. Looks like the 1967 yeah. Dodge Cornet RT, yeah. Robert. Yeah, and uh, I think the most unusual feature about of, of this car with this, uh, uh, it's an RT, which is nice, but it's not one of the ultimate drag specials. Uh, the, uh, the nice thing about this car, and the, the unusual thing, is it's, um, it's in painted in something called turbine bronze. And that was a color originally reserved for the limited volume of jet engine powered cars that Chrysler built, the Chrysler Turbine. And everybody said, oh wow, this is the next thing, you know, cars are gonna be jet powered like airplanes. Well, that didn't happen. And apparently this is one of two uh, non-turbine cars that were painted in turbine bronze. So it's, it's rare and valuable just from a, a color and trim standpoint. Well, it certainly looks like uh, the, the color, at least, like something that you'd find on the uh, uh, periodic uh, chart of the elements. Uh, let's get a closer look uh, and talk to uh, the owner, Don Pluster, of the 67 Dodge Cornette, who is with uh, Eric Gorgeous. Uh, Eric, over to you. How you doing, man? Good, how are you? I'm well, thanks for coming out. Hey. Thank you for coming out. Thanks for having us. So what do you got here? This is a 1967 Cornette RT. Cornet RT, so it's the Randy Travis edition. Yeah, well, not, not really. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, RT is actually road and track. <laughs> so tell me about it, man. How long have you had it? Uh, we've had it four years. Okay. Um, and it's the first year, actually, for the RT model. Yeah. It's extremely rare. Um, been working on it for the last three years. Oh, okay. Um, finally getting into this 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 place where it's at now a lot of mechanical work what um, kind of condition was it in it the body and, and paint was done when I got it okay but the mechanical needed needed work um, drivetrain engine I pulled the original engine out oh and saved that yeah, because yeah, yeah, it's yeah. goes it's with numbers. the car right and then we built What'd this you put in it this uh, this is a 493 stroker all right um, so it's it's well over 600 horsepower nice so, man beautiful uh, car it's, it's very fun Thank you for coming out. Enjoy the cruise. No Thank you. Nice for meeting you both. Nice meeting you too. All right, Fred. Let's see what's going on, man. All right, there it is, Bob. The '67 Dodge uh, Coronet uh, yeah. RT, and I know uh, you, you focus a lot of times on the wheels. Well, um, uh, you know, I have a phobia about old cars with modern wheels, <laughs> um, but this car has period steel road wheels, as supplied by Dodge, and there's nothing wrong with them. You know, they're five-spoke wheels. They have a, a lot of definition. I think it's still a really cool-looking wheel. Why go modern when you can have something that actually was uh, available at the time of the car? Another unusual design feature of this car, and you'll notice it as it drives away, but it's got concealed taillights. Mm -hmm. When they're off, they're all you see is chrome strips. So it's interesting that nowadays we try to emphasize the importance of taillights and sure. make a big deal out of them right well with that coronet they actually hit it to where when the lights weren't on you couldn't see them 